am Jessica Patterson of Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts and welcome. Today is a special video on answering our viewers questions. This one comes uh, on the spinning spoon. Uh, this is my spinning spoon from the Dancing Goats. This is made from a little ladle, um, I believe of silver. And it's been heated and bent here to make a nice hook. And it has this beautiful dished surface for spinning with a supported spindle while on the go. Um, and I'll leave a link to the dancing goats in the description. They have both these kind and also straight wooden spinning spoons, which hopefully we'll be able to demonstrate in the future if I get my hands on one. Anyway, how to attach the spinning spoon. There are a couple of different ways to do it. You can, depending on what side you spin on, you can hook it to a pocket like so and have your spindle whoop, have your spindle right here depending on how it's comfortable for you to spin you can hook it to the waist of your of your pant or your belt or if you're like me and you don't tuck in your shirt you or you're wearing a dress you can use a band or a ribbon to attach it and uh, I put my ribbon about here on my belly and this is one I hand wove using a rigid heddle and a shuttle um, with commercial yarn that I bought from, uh, well, from Crafty Housewife Yarns. And I hook it right there to hang. And let's see, I might need to tighten it a little. So now we're ready to spin. As soon as I tie it, there we go. And I've chosen for this demonstration my Peruvian Chack Chack from Straddle Creek Spins because I love doing this kind of spinning with the Chack Chack. And this is some carded Shetland. So what I'll do is I'll set the tip down and I'll start my spinning. And then we'll take a little bit of a walk so you can see what it's like to walk with the spinning spoon. Now granted, I probably should have had the spinning started already on this since this is about the spinning spoon, but you know, now you get a demonstration of how to start spinning with the spinning spoon. So these are perfect for taking your support spindle on the go and, uh, you know, attaching to your belt or if you're doing reenactment, your band, your waistband. And, uh, this way you can do your finer or more woolen type of spinning while um, going to market or visiting with others. So as you can see, we've now got spinning started. And now that it's started, I can start walking and hopefully not fall in a ditch because me walking and spinning and talking at the same time is a little bit of a dangerous combination so we're not going to walk very far lest i end up face first in something nasty so let us go visit and i'm going to walk very slowly <laughs> so you can walk along and just mostly do the spinning by feel and if i were walking with someone i could carry on a conversation hopefully and not uh, embarrass myself and if i were at market i can you know, stand and talk with a merchant or something. And I can also have this hand free for doing whatever. <laughs> but anyway, a little bit of dirt on the fiber. That is basically it for a spinning spoon. This is a very versatile tool. Um, even if you're just spinning in a indoor environment, um, this allows you to be more mobile with your spinning and more, um, sometimes it's a little more comfortable than a bowl. A bowl can tend to slip or if you need to get up and move around, it's um, just portable. And that's one thing I love about the spinning spoon is it just allows you to be portable. So I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration as short as it is it really is a simple tool and a simple application um so let me know in the comments below what do you think of the spinning spoon 
and its use. What kind of spindle would you use in a spinning spoon? You could pretty much use anything from a Russian spindle, Tibetan, or like me, a Peruvian chak chak, or even you could use a tackly, though I'm not sure if that would make a bit of a scraping noise with the metal tip. Anyway, let me know. Hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're not already, stay tuned for more, and thank you for watching this small demonstration on the spinning spoon. Have a great day!